for years, Diana was my sole handler at the agency. She supplied information and secrecy, and I sold perfection. We had trust. Then last August 10th, Diana brought the agency to its knees. She flushed all accounts, cut off all communication lines, exposed the agents, and used the confusion to vanish. Now the reformed agency has finally tracked her down and offered me the contract. One day, I will think of this as just another job. After all, this is what I do. Listen to me. I need you to be brave. come and take you away. I cannot go with you. This is how it has to be. This man is different. He will protect you. Please don't judge him for what he might do. I'm sorry. Maybe someday, you will understand. Forty-seven. This is Benjamin Travis. The money has been wired to your account. Welcome to Chicago. I appreciate you taking this assignment, 47. It is never easy targeting our own, but Diana Burnwood's treason must be dealt with. I would send in one of the teams, but this is a job for a scalpel, not a hammer. Reasons are irrelevant. Exactly. Good luck, 47. It's an ice cream truck. Yeah, I know. I'll get rid of him. Hey, get out of here. We don't want anything. What about your partner? What partner?
47? I should kill you. Why did you do this? 47! Tell me what's wrong with this thing. We all have our limits. Even you. 47. We used to have honor. Diana, I... No. I had to take her away from the doctors. I knew you would understand. Fuck. Something's not right. There's no time. You still have a chance. In my robe. A letter. Now go. Take the girl and run. Before Travis finds out. Please. Do not let her turn into you. Promise me. I promise. You know who I am. I know. She's dead, isn't she? Come on, stay close to me. Where are we going? Get in. It's done. Excellent work, 47. Bring the girl to the extraction point. Why did the Agency want you? I don't know, I guess I might have... <gasps> Diana did this for you, why? Please, she was my only friend. She took me away from the doctors. Tell me about the doctors. It's really blurry. Like, a really bad dream. Why? We need to go. Sir, there's nobody here. I think the asset has gone AWOL. God damn it! I was afraid they couldn't do it. I want every agent on this. You hear me, Jade? Locate 47 before he slips between the cracks. You need to get off the streets. The agency knows my secure locations, and they will be searching for us. This is the safest place I know. Can I come with you? You need to hide, till I know what's going on. Oh, it was you who called? Yes. Oh, you must be Victoria. Come on in, child. Thank you for your help. This girl is important. Take this. We will take good care of her, my son. Diana said you need that necklace. Don't lose it. Will you come back? I'll be watching.
Birdie, we need to meet. Your actions precede you, my man. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta say, I admire a man with the courage to shit where he eats. I'm guessing you're in need of some information, and I just might be willing to play ball. But first, I got a favor to ask. You listening? Sweet. Well, see, this is local upstart calling himself the king of Chinatown. Not exactly the understated type. And I would really like him to hand in his resignation if you catch my drift. Now this king, he resides at the pagoda in the center of town, where a unit of dirty cops guard his every move. And he rarely leaves the crowd except to meet up with his dealer in a pad overlooking the square. Yeah, he's also got a swanky European ride parked in a nearby alley. And that's all I got, Holmes. So, call me back when you're done. Got it? So bring your meat ass to my home. I need information. Well, that's my business. Information. You need information, I find information. At a price, of course. You're damn right at a price. Of course. A girl named Victoria. The agency wants her bad. I need to know why. No, wait, 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 wait. The agency. You want me to snoop around the agency? Were you crazy? Yeah, you crazy. Alright, what is it worth to you? Name your price. <clears throat> well... <clears throat> tools. If anyone mentions the girl, you know what to do. I'll call you. No. You do that. Blake Dexter. 
An arms industry VIP who seems to have taken a special interest in your girl. Dexter occupies the Terminus's top floor, and his thug has had the place sealed off tight. Still, a man of your skills and resources should be able to find several access points. Good luck, Holmes. Jesus Christ! Don't you ever fucking knock! Good work, Sanchez. Yeah. What is he? Is he a cop? Is he a PI or something? Well, fuck me gently. Oh. Oh. What the fuck? That ain't no fucking private eye. That's a fucking ghost. That, that's a myth. That, that's a fucking hitman. Hitman? Oh, shit. Oh. What the fuck are you talking about? This fucking changes everything. This is this changes everything. <laughs> what the fuck are we going to do with him? Knock, knock, knock. Housekeeping. Shh. Hello. What are you doing? Shh. Buenos dias, Peter. Hello. Yeah, we got us a little mess in here. Why don't you come on in and oh, clean it up? For you. Yeah, that'd be good. Clean now? Sure, come on in, darling. Atta girl. Oh my god, these. Yes, the goat! Oh god! You fucking animal! <laughs> And that's what I call a sweet slice. <sighs> you know, nothing would give me more pleasure than to kill you right here and now. Me kill a legendary hitman? Yeah, but uh, I don't need that kind of attention. So, uh, oh dear. Oh dear. You've done a bad, bad thing. Well, now they won't be looking for a killer, will they, huh? Killer. <laughs> yee ha! I tell you, I don't ordinarily yee but this is a fucking yee ha! Fucking Christmas! Here, take a slash. Nah. On second thought. Tinkle, tinkle, little jar. Wait, could you please not do that? This is a bad plan. Come on, darling. You better put a giddy up in your step. <laughs> Adios. after Victoria. I need to stop him before he gets too close. Man, he already too close. You want my advice? You take that girl and you run. I never did believe in running. According to my sources, girl is in Chicago. Me and the boys are leaving ASAP. I need you along to spearhead the operation. Are you in? Wait. I heard you. You want me to snatch some chick? Name's Victoria. Dom is gonna call you, tell you how to find her. She's in hiding somewhere. You got that? That's a lot of hassle for one chick. She must be special. I need to bring my boys. That means double my fee. Mm. Take Lenny with you. He can bring her back when you find her. Lenny? Limp dick? Triple my fee. <laughs> Sorry, the kid's a dipshit. 
25. 39. 26. 37. 30. 35. Deal. Hmm. Lenny, come give the man a line. Come on, Liv Dick. <laughs> Liv Dick Lenny. <laughs> Shut up, Wade! <laughs> I like good old Wade, I really do. Son of a bitch makes my skin crawl. Oh, that's probably why I like him. <laughs> now, Blake Dexter's a ruthless son of a bitch for sure, but the guy you really need to worry about is his business partner, Tom Osman, owner of the Vixen Club over on Bristol Street. This prick is bad new Holmes, even by my standards. I mean, he's clever and really connected. And it's only a matter of time before he tracks down your girl at the orphanage. How do you know about that? Hey, Chicago knows, I know. <laughs> Tommy ain't all that different. Send me his picture. Hey, I found something. That yeah, what? Now remember, when you get inside the Vixen Club, look toward the bar. Cause Dom, he likes to be where the action is. I'm actually a dude. See the hair on my lip? Boy, I see Alright, go on in, brother. You can Get in here for a minute. Let me see your moves. Come on. Show me what you got. He left with this cowboy guy. Real nasty looking piece of work. They were going downtown, I think. Too late, 47. I gotta do what I gotta do. <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Wade, what would you rather do? Find a girl? Or waste a bullet? Clock is ticking. empty here without the children. I wish I could have gone on that field trip with them. Oh, it's you. I'm glad you're here. Victoria's sick. One minute she's fine, and the, the next she's hardly breathing, and the doctors can't find anything wrong with her. A necklace. A necklace? Well, well it's on the dresser. She broke the latch, but I fixed it. Has anyone been asking about her? No. They're here. I've got to move Victoria fast. Where's the safest place in the building? Oh, uh, oh the basement, the basement. Get down there quickly. I'll meet you there with Victoria. Yes, yes, of course. Oh, heaven be praised. Oh. 
上。Thank you. He came back, just like you said. I was so, so scared. Were those gunshots? Don't worry. I promised Diana to keep you safe. I know what you've been through. No one will harm you ever again. What's that noise? Likes this carnage. Sick, sick. Sister Mary is waiting in the basement. I will meet you both there. That little thing around all day, haven't you? <laughs> Shut up, Wayne! Oh. <laughs> oh! Oh! You think you're a tough guy, Lenny? Hmm? Tough guy? Stop it! Come on, man, you tough guy? Come on! Come on, you tough guy? Come on, man! No! Come on! Okay, I'll show you! Uh. Shut up, bitch! Oh! Or I'll put a cap in your ass! Look out, everybody! We better make room for Lip Dick Lenny. Come on! You know what, Way? Just... Oh! 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 oh my God! Oh! I got blood on oh. my hand, Way! Y'all see that? This is like pop like a watermelon. <laughs> Lenny! <laughs> I tell you what, Lenny. We better let the grown-ups clean up this. Mm-mm. Boys, keep watch, huh? Nice job, Lenny. Nice job. Stop struggling, you little bitch! Yo! Wayne! Who's the lip dick now, you... Dude, I hope you die real hard and real long, you fucking motherfucker! And hey, you're Baldy! Don't you fucking do it! I'll put a, a fucking bullet in her head! That's what I'm saying. Wait, this is what happens when you fuck with Lenny. Don't you fuck with Lenny anymore. Hope, South Dakota. You're a long way from home. <laughs> I got wood, man. Why do I have wood?
for dragging me out here. Hey, I'm here to offer my services. You see, this kidnapping of yours, I'm worried that you have no idea who you're up against. Well, I'm Bertie. I didn't know you cared. Let me take a closer look. Is this the face of a man I can trust? Dom is dead. Courtesy of the bald guy. And that means you need a new man on the inside. And who's better out there than me? Am I right? No, Bertie, you're not right. Because, see, I got the girl. And that means I don't really need you now, do I? Wait, 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 wait. Now, be cool, man. Come on, please. Listen. Look, you don't understand. You want the highest bidder? Then you need me to engineer the drop. That's what I do, man. Eh? <laughs> oh, right? Bertie, you think I can't make a simple trace on your phone call? What? I will say all that. Oh, oh. Uh, it's a beautiful day. Huh? Bertie? Uh, who is, uh, what the hell is her name again now? Uh, Jade. Who Jade? Fuck you, man. Oh, that, oh. oh now that's the wrong answer. Oh. Damn, I love this country. A man can become anything he wants to be, as long as he's got the brains and the cojones. Okay, 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 she's a low level. Agency, bitch! The agency? Are you telling me the agency's connected to Victoria? Yeah. Let him go. <laughs> These are very dangerous people, man. If you screw them over, they will find you. But if you let me be the middleman, can't you see if it meant enough to them to send a fucking hit, man? Don't you see she's got to be worth millions? Millions. <laughs> I'll take my chances. Oh, you're good this time, Bertie. You've been very useful. But if I see your weasel face again, I will bury you right here next to the Founding Fathers. I can promise you that. You know I will. I'm cool. I'm cool. Think you're gonna cut me out of the action? Well, you got another thing coming, man. I got a sorpresa for you. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I got a surprise for everybody. I work here, okay? Please, don't hurt me. I just work here. Uh, I, 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 uh, ah, barbershop! Every day, 12 noon, sharp! Hey, Holmes. How's country life? Locals treating you okay? Why don't you pop on over to McGarman's gun shop, because I got you a little moving in present.
Sir, I think you need to see this. Sir, you really need to see this. What? It's a gift. From an old connection. It's been off the grid for a couple of years now. Codename Birdie. <laughs> we codenamed the guy Birdie. No wonder he went off the grid. Just take them. You don't look much like a thief. It wouldn't be stealing. on the girl. Don't worry about ammo. As long as you're competing, you can use all you want. Right, he's in Hope, South Dakota. And the girl? She's not with him. Okay, people, listen up! I'm giving a green light on this operation. I want 47's head on a platter in front of me ASAP! Sir, don't you think that our priority is on reacquiring the girl right now? No, Jay. First, we neutralize the rogue element that started this mess. He'll know where she is. Trust me. We get 47. We get the girl. We can't afford to fuck this up! It's time to send in the saints.
Tyler tell you about a plan of his? We grab the girl from under Dexter's nose, sell her off ourselves. And Tyler, he's already in touch with the competing arms company. We're talking six figures, man. Damn it! Mr. Dexter is not someone that you want to mess with. Day to you, officer, sir. Top of the morning. <laughs> You're not the talkative type, huh? <laughs> you know your place. <laughs> well, uh, I like that in the barber. What have we got, Doc? How's our golden egg? That is exactly what she is, sir. She is extraordinary. We ran some tests on her. Her cells are enhanced somehow by an isotope in her, in her necklace. It's as if it rejuvenates her. Given the right training, she would be stronger or faster than any man. But when it's removed, she weakens somehow. <laughs> She is beyond perfect. I knew there was some reason the agency wanted her so bad. Jackpot! Ha <laughs> ha! Lenny. Lenny's been kidnapped. What? Who the fuck would dare fuck with me? Are you fucking kidding me? God damn it! You call Jade. Tell her to set up the ransom right now. And call the sheriff, tell him I want my boy back. What the fuck I pay him for, goddamn fucking pervert? Oh, Mrs. Cooper. Sheriff's office. How can I help you? It's for you. Skirky here, what? Layla, hi. What? No! I... God damn it! All right, I'm coming. Just hang it up. Where's the girl? <laughs> oh, will kill me if I tell you. I'll kill you if you don't. Oh, please! We was gonna give her right back. We was just trying to make some money, man. Last time. Where's? Victoria. <laughs> Don't stop. <laughs> Pop told me to leave her with Sanchez. <laughs> Where do I find him? In the factory, just out the town. Ask anybody, they'll tell you. He runs the fights there at night. All right. You can stop digging. Can, can I get out of this hole now? Start walking. Oh, please. Please, that nun, she was an accident, man, okay? Please, I, I'm not gonna kill any more nuns, I swear. I 
can't just just drive away. Hey, there's no need. There's no need to do anything. Don't put a bullet in me. I did. I gave you everything I wanted. Please, no more nonsense. I swear. There be a goddamn emergency. You know this is my... You are now entering the Dexter Industries Research Facility, where the top minds of science and technology strive to make the impossible possible. Dexter Industries. Where the magic happens. Ask anyone on staff, who is our main bro? Huh? Who is it? Carl. Yeah, you Carl. That's right. And yeah, we wouldn't forget about you. Come on! <laughs> oh, Jeez, you guys, I don't know what to say. All right, all right, don't go all misty-eyed on us, okay? All right, yeah, well, uh, we got you a little something, too, all the guys pitched in, so, uh, all right, come this way. You, you're gonna love this.
on the surface, the subject is an ordinary teenage girl. But initial test results prove well, unusual. I take caution to avoid drawing premature conclusions. I'll have to await the results of the DNA analysis. The subject exceeds my wildest expectations. Her stats are unlike anything I've ever seen. Apart from the feeble work of Dr. Ortmeier, none have attempted human genetic manipulation on this scale. My own work on the Mexican Sanchez is feeble by comparison, mere groping in the dark. I must admit I find it hard to maintain a scientific distance. This, this is an opportunity I've dreamed of my entire life. I only fear that Blake Dexter will sell the girl off to the highest instead of investing the proper time to develop her abilities in full. He is a narrow-minded, short-term individual with limited interest in true scientific endeavors. I must derive what information I can while I still have a chance. The content of this lab could already be worth untold millions. Is the chair ready yet? Oh, don't even answer. That vacant look tells me everything I need to know. Jesus, we just hire anyone with a heartbeat these days, don't we? Don't bother. I'll take care of it myself. Hey! What are you doing, you fool? Not while I'm in here!
Welcome to the Waikiki Inn. <laughs> Would you care to register, sir? Ben Franklin. Oh, right this way, sir. We have a continental breakfast from 7 to 9 in the Tiki Lounge. A happy hour is from 5 to 8 in the Tiki Lounge. My ties are two for one, pina coladas are... Anything less festive. Can I bring a bottle to your room, Mr. Franklin? Something brown. Yes, sir. with God, motherfucker. and you betrayed the agency. Oh yeah. So you saw him get up and walk away after that fall. Oh yeah, like a walking, talking angel man. And you describe it. Get out of here! You're wasting my time! Twenty people saw him, man. Not a single one can describe him apart from being bald with a tattoo on the back of his neck. You really think it's the hitman? I don't care if it's the fucking tooth fair, I'm gonna get him. Detective, this was left at the front desk. Kid said, give it to whoever's looking for the hitman. Exchange 
stage is set? Yes, sir. Blackwater Park. I've already assigned three teams for you. Good. We get the girl, make sure she's secure, then we take them all out and get our money back. Ransom is not in the agency budget this year. <laughs> Hope, South Dakota, <laughs> to watch the myth die. Next matter of order, Dexter Industries versus Kevin Zimmerman. Trespass. Where's the prisoner, Sheriff? <clears throat> Your Honor, uh, the uh, prisoner had a uh, unfortunate accident in his cell this morning, and uh, he's on his way to the infirmary. Mm, I see. You think he'll pull through? <laughs> Not looking good. I, he fell pretty hard. <coughs> Case dismissed. Well, I think I'm gonna mosey on down to the jail and check on the jailbirds. All right, Your Honor. I remember when I was your age. God. I didn't know. Yeah. There you go. Ho, ho, ho. Down for the count. How about a little extra just to make sure you're cooked real good? Hey, yeah, Dexter. Yeah, hey, no problem. Yeah, just some bald fuck. Told you I'm a professional. <laughs> yeah, he's sleeping like a baby. Ha! Good morning, sunshine! <laughs> morning, Mr. Dexter. Morning to you. Well, well, well. Where's my boy? Where is my boy, you son of a bitch? <laughs> Everybody's so fond of? Well, my scientists tell me that this is what revs her up. Look at her now. Weak as a little kitten. Ow! Mr. Dexter, fuck off! Fuck! What the fuck kind of place you running here, Clive? Hell, that ain't mine. Jesus Christ, you... That's Mrs. Cooper. Sick fuck! You killed my boy, didn't you? Look, man, just tell him what he wants to know. Accidents happen in this jail all the time. Hey, Mr. Dexter, come on. You go on about your business, I'll take care of this guy. Let's go. I want my boy back, Clive. I ain't let you down yet, have I? Go on. Yeah, it's gonna be you and me now. Fuck! We're taking 
taking over your town. Who the fuck are you? This is my fucking town! Let him know we're serious. Ow! Don't shoot me! I'm the sheriff! Ah! Forty-seven. Tom, I need a new suit. Oh, Mr. Forty-seven. What a pleasure. Oh. Yes, yes, I can tell. You need a new suit. Now, please, follow me. Come this way, come this way, come on. Come to my dressing room. Step inside, 47. It's quite an improvement over your old suit. Look. Handcrafted wool. Reinforced seams. Invisible stitching. And, of course, silk linings.
All right, dickhead, where's the girl? <laughs> oh, Layla. See? Girls are one piece. You want to keep her that way? I want to see 10 million right now, like we agreed. Well, now about the money. I don't have that kind of signing authority. You what? You don't have what? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, no, no, no. See, that's not how this works, partner. Because you better find someone who's got the authority right now, or the deal's over. You got the three. Well, let me talk to my superior. Three. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> fucking asshole, what the fuck are you doing? God oh, damn it! Did that upset you? I'm sorry. <laughs> well, the fun's over, Hancho. Ten million right now. And you fuck with me, it'll be ten million more. Throw in the split tail. Okay, asshole. You made your point. You're a nice piece of ass, honey. What are you doing with Limp Dick? Pig. You have no idea. Hey, fuck off! Where's the girl? <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'll, uh... I'll give you a call in a little while, I'll let you know where you can find Victoria. Come on, darling. Making money makes me money. You gave that psychopath our money just like that? Yeah, well, he's not as dumb as he looks. Nobody outruns the agency. Mr. Dexter, he shot out the camera in the elevator. Coming our way. Yes, sir, Ray! You know, they say wealth can be a great burden, but I'm willing to take it on, I'll tell you. Holy shit! Yes! That's a lot of fucking do Ray, me right there, and that's <laughs> ours! That's mine! Here, buy yourself some lipstick. God damn, that's a lot of money. Yeah. What? Fuck! Are you fucking kidding me? What does it take to kill this son of a bitch? I want him dead right now. You kill him right now, you hear me? You think you can do that? No, of course you can't do that, because you're a bunch of fucking pussies. I have to do fucking everything around here. Easy, Jesus baby. fucking Christ. It's okay, baby. No, it's not okay. That bald fuck is coming to kick my ass. Jesus, no, fuck. Layla's got what it takes to stop any man. You know, I think you might have something there. I'm counting on you. Come on, Angel. Let's go. I'm counting on you. I got this. It's number 22 on its number 25! It's number 55 on the second floor! Jesus! <sighs> What's wrong with me, huh? You think I got dyslexia? Oh, God! Or you think I'm just stupid? Man, I'm probably just stupid. That's what my mom was saying, just stupid. You think I should get tested? Maybe I should get tested. Is there a test for dyslexia? You got a gun! How cool is that? Hey, 
just a sushi guy. Who ordered sushi? Miss Stockton did. Jesus, pick up the sushi and see Miss Stockton gets it. And don't touch anything in there. <laughs> You're a hard man to kill. I love a hard man. Where is Victoria? Oh, Vicky. <laughs> Let's not talk about her. Let's talk about us. Better yet. When was the last time you relaxed? Huh? Let Layla take you to heaven. Negative, sir. Second unit is closing in as we speak. Sir, about Layla, we, um, we just found her. Ah, what are you waiting for? Put her on. No, sir. She's gone. Layla is gone. There was, there was nothing we could do. One way to hit him where it hurts. You catch my drift, asshole! You get up here like a man, or I swear to God, I'll put one right between her eyes! I will shoot her. You hear me, boy? Come on! I know you're out there.
Dear 47, if you read this letter, I am most likely dead. You will have shot me for a traitor, and Travis will have won. Do not let him have the girl as well. Travis's division was conducting genetic experiments without the agency's knowledge, and Victoria was their crowning achievement. Give her the choice you never had. Protect Victoria and kill Benjamin Travis. to be a killer, just like you! It was gonna be... perfect. Just tell me... Did you kill her? <coughs> Diana... You will never know. Find them. For price, of course. <laughs> 